Today we're going to talk about setting up a new demand year using demand year maintenance. And the reason you need to do this is for your advanced forecasting module. If you don't have enough periods set up in the future, P21 will not be able to generate a forecast and will actually throw an error whenever the forecasting engine runs. You set up a demand year in the system setup. So we're going to go to setup, system setup, maintenance, demand year maintenance. When the window opens, there are quite a few options, but this is actually a pretty simple thing to do to set up a new year. Now in this configuration, we already have demand year set up through the year 2020, but we're going to go ahead and set up the year 2021. To start that off, we're going to enter 2021 in the year field. And when we press enter, you can see that you have no dates in any of the periods. The easiest thing to do is to just copy from a previous year. So we'll select the copy from previous year radio button, which enables the year to copy from field. Enter the year you want to copy from into that field and press enter. All of the period dates will automatically update. Once you've completed that, click save and the new demand year will be created. Next we're going to talk about how to do a reforecast. This could come up during the month because you've changed items to a new replenishment method such as up to. When that happens you'll need to execute a new forecast so that you get the most updated information. So to start, we're going to put in the current year, 2017, and then we need to select a period for which we want to do the reforecast. Currently, we're in September, so we're going to check the Update Forecast checkbox for period 9. You can choose up at the top whether or not you want to update the demand pattern or find best fit formulas. If you want to do a complete reforecast, you're going to want to check both of those. For the forecast accuracy test, you just want to leave this at the default setting of 0.7. If you're using DRP, it's best to go ahead and check the Update Future Forecast checkbox as well. Right-click the lower part of the window, then click the Update Forecast Usage slash Reclassify menu item at the top of the right menu. The system will then reforecast all the items. This could take a little while depending on your database server speed, but you will get a pop-up message that says that the operation was complete when it's over with. If you want to update ABC classes while you're running the reforecast, check the reclassify checkbox in the header area of the screen. And that's really about all there is to demand your maintenance. Remember, if you don't have your system configured to automatically reforecast every month, you'll need to come into this screen at the beginning of each month and manually kick off a new forecast. For more how-to videos on Profit 21, check out our website at freeingerp.com.